Hey, what's going on? It's Rick here. And today I'm gonna to show you a really affordable aluminum bumper by Bright Tech. This is called the Asteroid 5 Gold Frame. It is for the iPhone 5 and the iPhone 5S. Now, before I show this to you and talk about it, let me tell you this. Um, I've told you before, I'm a big kind of proponent of listening to you guys and hearing your feedback. And when I can, uh, reviewing products that you asked me to review and you know, really stay engaged with you guys. Of course, the best way is through Twitter over at Metagamers. Uh, but Tyler T99, one of the guys that uh, I converse with on Twitter, he brought this to my attention. I'd never heard of this before. So a big thank you to Tyler T99 for calling this out to my attention. The crazy thing about this aluminum bumper, as of this video, you can get it for $5.99. Now, it does list it as a $25 MSRP, but for $5.99, it was definitely worth a shot. I picked it up on Amazon, and I'll link to it in the description of my video. It comes in kind of this brown packaging here. You can head on over to uh, brighttechshop.com for more information, or just hit up the link that I'm going to provide. Inside of that, you simply get this. It talks about how to remove the bumper, how to put it on, and here it is right here. So before I pop it on, I am going to call out it's got some kind of cushioned areas in the corners not only to help with reception and all of that but also to prevent some scratching here and then as you see this black taped area here that's because it's got some machined buttons here so the top is going to be open I'm going to do this part off camera because it is a little tricky you kind of have to dig a nail in here and pry this back piece off and then you pop your phone in so I'm going to do that right now and then I'll come back and show you the finished product so I've taken the back off and what you want to do is carefully pop your iPhone 5 or 5S directly into this as you see me doing here and once you've done that you're then going to come back and snap this back plate on taking care with your back here because you definitely don't want to scratch that up uh, and it requires a little bit of effort not too much. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish this up off camera so it's right in front of me and not at an angle and then I'll show you what it looks like on. Okay, so here we are and I gotta say the color on this really comes extremely close to matching that of the champagne gold on the iPhone 5S. I don't know if this video is going to do it justice but we'll start down below here and you can see one for one on your uh, mic your speaker here it all lines up perfectly as far as your lightning connector you get a little bit of extra room there and it's not too deep there as you can see this is very lightweight and it doesn't provide too much bulk as you can see here so it's a really slim design there's your headphone jack and it gives you enough room you might run into issues if you try to plug in an oversized jack here but l jacks and things like that my v modus have worked just fine here along the side this is what it's going to look like and of course you've got these areas here to help with reception this switch for your mute is very easy to get to. I've got no issues switching that. And your volume buttons are covered up with these machined aluminum buttons that are very, very responsive. Real nice tactile tactile response here. Up along the top, it is opened. And you feel the bumper ever so slightly, but it's nothing too bad. And then along this side, you've got some branding here. It says Gosh. And uh, you've got kind of a image there along the side as well and then on the back side it actually gives you kind of a lay on the table design so you might want to throw a skin back here so you don't scratch up the back of your phone uh, but it does give you a lay on the table design with this one so that if you're setting it down like this that back shouldn't get too much uh, scratching or anything like that now I will say on the front side you don't get really anything in the way of lay on the table if it's there it's minuscule at best I've got a very thin screen shield on here it comes in I believe 0.12 millimeters and it works just fine no problems there uh, but I gotta say I'm really, really impressed. Now, I don't know if I'd use something like this on a daily basis for me personally, uh, but if bumpers are your thing, you like to combine it with maybe a back skin, oh man, you cannot go wrong with this one. I haven't seen any issues with reception on it. It's by Bright Tech. It's called the Asteroid 5 Gold Frame. And personally, I think at $5.99, it's quite frankly a steal. The only thing that is a little tricky is to remove it. I'm not going to do it on camera, but you do have to kind of get a nail in here, carefully pry it back, make sure you don't do any scratching or anything like that. But other than that, I mean, it really comes close to matching this very, very nicely. 
Again. So in a small revision to the Bright Tech Astro 5 bumper for the iPhone 5 or 5S, I want to come back and say that I'm revising my score from a 5 out of 5 to an actual four and a half out of five. And this assumes that you pick this case or this bumper up at the $5.99 price point rather than the $25 price point. I'd have a bit of a reservation uh, recommending it at that price point. And the reason being is this, this is why I give it the half off. You're going to notice, and hopefully you can see it in this video, that it's starting to chip here. Now, for most people, if you're going to put this on your phone and leave it on your phone, you're probably not going to have this issue occur. But for me, over the past few days since filming the initial video, I have taken it off, put it back on, and I've noticed that it is chipping a little bit. The other thing that I do want to call out is that the frame, not the frame itself, but the back plate, you have to be very, very careful with it because when you take it off, what I noticed is it bends really easily. And if it bends like that, you kind of have to bend it back into place. Now, you know, that can be looked at as either a positive thing or a negative thing, positive that it's thin, it's lightweight, and you just have to take extra care with it or a negative thing in that it's very fragile. So just keep those things in mind. I would say if it's $5.99, it's still worth the shot. And I would revise my score to a four and a half out of five. Thanks everybody for watching.